Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Ishan Sharma and I hope you guys are doing great. And so in this episode of Bitscast, I have someone really amazing. Uh, she is a mentor at Google Coden. She's actually worked for various open source organizations like the Girl Script Foundation and also Red Hat. She has won the Startup India Hackathon 2019 and she is Samya Singh. And in this episode of Bitscast, we learn exactly how she started to code her journey in coding, uh, the challenges that she had and how she got these opportunities into working into organizations like Coding Blocks and you know, a Girlship Foundation and Red Hat and how did she win the Startup India Hackathon and a lot more in this episode of Bitscast. Make sure that you watch it till the end. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, share it with someone that you think that these should listen to this episode of Bitscast. And with that, let's jump right into the video. Hello, Samya. Thank you so much for joining me here for this podcast episode on Bitscast. How are you doing there? Hi, Shan. Thank you so much for inviting here. Uh, I should say this initiative by yours is really good. I appreciate it. I am very good. What about you? Yeah, I'm just doing fine here uh, because of the lockdown. I'm, I'm uh, away from my college sitting here at my home. So, yeah, I mean, I feel a little sad about that. But, you know, what can we do about it? I hope this ends soon. Yeah. All right, now let's uh, actually talk about your uh, developer journey and how it has been like, because I'm really curious to know what your journey has been like. So tell me a little about that. Okay, so my journey as a developer, it started back uh, from my school days. Uh, since I was a non-medical student, so uh, C++, C, those languages were compulsory, they were mandatory there. So I started learning coding, programming since my school days and the teachers who taught me those languages, they were really very experienced. So um, they make all the basics, the, the OOP concepts, everything clear. So I do not feel any difficulty. Uh, I, I, in learning those languages uh, so yeah that has started from my school days itself okay and uh, and then you continued it in your college years as well yeah after that uh, i since i uh, used to score good in uh, uh, those uh, languages like i uh, scored quite good in c++ in my board exam that uh, gave me some confidence that uh, okay this domain is good for me i can uh, go ahead with this and so i uh, decided to uh, choose engineering as my uh, career and uh, yes that's how i entered into btech yeah all right great and and how did you learn to code what uh, resources did you use after coming to college Okay, after coming to college, uh, uh, obviously I should say uh, internet is a boon nowadays. Uh, everything is available over there on internet. But the actual break uh, I got, the, I, I got to know about the programming world uh, from coding blogs. I joined it in my uh, second year and uh, I should say that was quite late. I should have joined uh, from first year itself. Uh, but yes, I joined in second year. And I'm really thankful to my mentor, Harsha Devedi, sir. He was uh, an Android developer at that time in Coding Blocks. I joined that course and that really helped me a lot. Uh, that time I uh, realized that why people say that technology can really uh, bring a change in the society. When we started working on some real world uh, projects, that, and then I understand that, okay, we can do this much from those languages, those simple languages that we learn yeah. in school days yeah mm -hmm. all right that's amazing to know and uh, how did you become the gci mentor the google code and mentor yeah the story behind that is quite interesting actually i was a google code and mentor for uh, two organizations mifo's organization as well as uh, the anita bog organization which is one of my most favorite because of its uh, vision and mission uh, I do not know that much about other organizations, how, he, how they handpick the mentors, but talking about the Anita Bok organization, they have a very organized uh, or I should say very uh, strict uh, way of handpicking the mentors. Uh, like uh, there is the application process and there are the interview uh, process. Uh, 
if i talk about my journey uh, with anita bau organization uh, i have written a re- i have written a complete blog on that because that was a, a long story um, okay yeah the application process was there and uh, the for the interview process actually i missed the interview uh, because of some personal is- issues but uh, then i yeah. contacted the uh, project admin and uh, uh, they somehow understood my issues and uh, they um, gave me another chance to give the interview and i gave the interview they were uh, really very impressed and seeing my uh, tech background my experience um, they chose me as the mentor for google coden uh, talking about mifos organization uh, there was not as such uh, long procedure uh, on the basis of the profile of the applicant they uh, selected they hand picked the mentors and um, uh, yeah in google coden uh, as a mentor um, it was really a wonderful experience i should say the pre university students from all over the world they were really very excited to know about what open source is how uh, things happen so guiding them i really i also learn a lot because when you guide others so uh, you learn a lot so yeah that was my experience about google coden <laughs> Yeah, I actually went through your LinkedIn profile and I and I realized that you are very active with the uh, GirlScript and other foundations. So, can you tell me a little about that? Uh, okay. So, about GirlScript, I was introduced to GirlScript through their open source initiative, the initiative that is uh, the GirlScript Summer of Code. It is really a very uh, good initiative by GirlScript. It is uh, a three-month long open source program where uh, the beginners uh, are taught how they can contribute to open source. uh they get they are like uh, introduced to uh, various tools like get github and uh, a lot of projects are there which they can work upon uh, so okay. i get into uh, girl script foundation from that initiative of theirs and because of my impressive work i was selected uh, for the girl script uh, india contributors meet also that uh, uh, that i can say as a girl script uh, scholars meet Uh, because everything was provided by them they hand picked uh, 50 uh, people from all over india for this meet and uh, a lot of uh, new things we did for those two days uh, we spent at nagpur uh, it was really okay. a good learning experience yeah yeah amazing and uh, and what about uh, the open source academic award that you got from uh, red hat what was that experience like Okay so recently um I got to know that I'm one of the finalist for the open uh, women in open source academic award by Red Hat uh, so uh, because of my active contribution to various open source project and because I am uh, associated with various open source communities and I keep contributing to those communities I um, got this uh, uh, honor from red hat and i really appreciate that because um, i used to like from the second year itself i used to keep contributing to various open source projects uh, just for fun because if we want to learn some new technology or if we uh, want to build, build connections internationally or work on some uh, good projects that are used worldwide then i yeah. think open source is the best thing so uh, i was yeah i was into uh, open source from my second year itself uh, i never thought of i could get uh, such an honor for uh, this interest of mine i was very happy when i heard that i have been selected as um, selected as one of the uh, top four finalist for this honor so it was really uh, good to hear that i was one of the finalist yes <laughs> that is amazing to know uh, and also tell me a little about what was your experience at the smart india hackathon and you actually won it right so what yeah. the, what was the project there okay so um, let me tell you um, i love taking part in hackathons uh, i feel they are the best place where you can explore your capabilities when you have to build a project when you have to build a real world product in just 24 hours or 36 hours so uh, you really uh, learn a lot and you put all your efforts into it so uh, talking specifically about a smart india hackathon that was my uh, first hackathon experience i should say that time i was not that much experienced uh, uh, but uh, yes 
uh, we uh, the project there was about uh, building an android application for uh, providing digital solutions to the esic or uh, the government hospitals uh, specifically i should say so we were a team of uh, six and uh, we built a solution for uh, uh, solving various problems of esic hospital uh, like uh, providing them the emergency facilities or connecting connecting them directly to the doctors and a lot was there so yeah that was the uh, project that we worked upon in smart india hackathon and it was very much appreciated by all the judges and the uh, managed, managing director over there and we uh, won that so uh, i felt really very good and uh, apart from that uh, smart india hackathon i i keep you know, taking part in various other hackathons also uh, one of the closest uh, project uh, one of the project that is closest to my heart is the one that i built in delhi police hackathon uh, that yeah. project yeah yeah that project was really very much appreciated by the commissioner of delhi as well uh, so yes mm -hmm. yeah amazing and and what would be the parameters at the jury judges you on uh, when you actually make the project uh, okay so um, having a good experience as a participant in uh, various hackathons uh, the parameters are uh, the most important thing is that tech is tech i should say when you um, thing of building a product uh, like you are pro uh, you are provided with some problem statements and uh, you try to find some solution to that so while thinking about the solution always make sure that you uh, plan to choose some uh, new tech stacks like uh, uh, if specifically i talk about uh, android development then nowadays flutter is preferred much more than native because it is a cross platform so exactly. always go, yeah mm -hmm. Uh, so always go ahead for uh, the latest technology that will uh, that will be uh, given preference over those participants who who would be working on uh, the older tech stacks and the second thing uh, i should say is uh, your way of presenting your idea because your presentation skill should be very good you should uh, be able to explain what solution you are building how your solution can impact the society in a good way to your judges because um, the way you convey your idea that has a lot of significance i have i have actually felt that and um, mm. Uh, yeah these two parameters i feel are very much important when you um, when you take part in hackathon and the judges give a lot of significance to these things uh, yeah that's the thing all right thank you so much for that and uh, let's actually talk about linkedin how has linkedin helped you out so far uh, again uh, in your coding journey and you know making connections how has that been beneficial to you okay uh, so i am uh, very much active on linkedin and uh, uh, that helped me a lot in building my connections and uh, starting my journey into uh, coding because uh, initially when i joined uh, my college i remember i was not that much experienced like everything was new for me uh, so it was uh, like i was not having uh, any direct connection with a senior it was difficult to understand that how should i go ahead how should i start my journey into coding so um, somehow i heard from someone that uh, you can join linkedin for uh, getting new opportunities that is a very good platform uh, so yeah i ma i made an account over linkedin and uh, when i started using linkedin i saw many students many student i should say seniors having too good profile i started talking to them i uh, took advice from them that how can, how can i start my career in coding and all so they gave me advice that you can join either this institution or you can uh, read about uh, the coding and programming languages from these resources like for if you want to go ahead with cp and all you should try it on lead code and grg is also a good platform so yeah talking with your seniors talking to those people who have a good experience um, that helped me a lot so yes linkedin helped a lot yeah Mm -hmm. I completely agree with your point. I've been using LinkedIn since I came into my own uh, college, and I've been using it a lot. Uh, yeah, I, lo I love it. I'm actually making tutorials on how to maximize LinkedIn. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoy it on LinkedIn. And so uh, coming back to you, what, what are your future plans? 
Uh, yeah, my future plans. Uh, uh, I want to get into uh, a top company, a top MNC uh, as a software developer, as a software engineer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, and I should say besides that, I uh, love doing uh, some things that can have a, a good impact on the society, especially like nowadays. I am doing a project on above that is. Uh, uh, for a skill development uh, for the unprivileged students because uh, there are many students out there in India and in the whole world who do not have that much resources as we are provided. They do not even have uh, the uh, opportunity to go to a school and learn uh, something and I feel that education is the basic right of everyone. So uh, this project is really very close to my heart. I am putting my efforts to uh, make it big with the the Girl Strip Foundation. This is the initiative by Girl Strip Foundation and I am the lead of this project. Uh, we will be like uh, visiting uh, some places uh, like some uh, slum or places where the unprivileged students are there who do not get the opportunity to go to uh, schools and nurseries. Uh, so we will be providing basic education to them. So I, I really love doing these things because they help. Uh, they provide you a self-satisfaction and uh, I really love that yeah mm -hmm. that is actually quite an interesting project that you're talking about I mean uh, even my college has this uh, club that actually does uh, things like these they go to the nearby village and they try to teach people uh, you know how to uh, you know the people that don't have access to schools and colleges so they try to help them uh, with education so yeah that's pretty good yeah all right, Soumya, thank you so much for joining me here. I have one last question for you. Uh, what are you most excited about in this new decade? Uh, okay, so in this new decade, I am like I am an open source enthusiast and I am an avid tech blogger and uh, a coding enthusiast. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, make something using my tech knowledge that can uh, have a good impact on the entire society that can bring some good revolution in the society. Uh, yes, I have actually uh, proposed a similar kind of project also uh, with an open source organization. Uh, so yes, using my tech knowledge, I want to do something big for this society. That's uh, that's what I'm interested to do in the new decade. Yeah, even I am really passionate about you know making a making an impact with my code. Yeah. All right, Samia, thank you so much for joining me here. I hope the audience will be able to learn something from this talk. Uh, thank you so much. And yeah, bye bye. Thank you so much, Ishan. It was nice talking to you. Bye bye. So that was Samia Singh. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bitscast. Uh, if you are still watching till the very end, thanks, thanks a lot. You guys mean the world to me. If you can actually go to Apple podcast and leave a review for this podcast, it would be amazing. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching this video to the very end. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already liked this video, guys. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.